that she worked for Tom, the Waynes. She worked for Tom. Apparently, she had a thing for Thomas Wayne. Mm-hmm. Now, the the thing is, uh, okay, be, before they made him act like such an ass, I would have said, no, the lady has mental issues. Yeah. And maybe, maybe that's not the case. But w- let's say that he's running for politics. He's a rich man. Mm-hmm. Who's to say he didn't pay to have her committed? In Arkham, mm. treated like a crazy person, yeah, and then have some fake documentation popped up as him being adopted. Ooh, and what if he really turned out to be Thomas Wayne's kid, older kid, uh, Bruce Wayne's older, older bro- sibling? Ooh, now that would be. I mean, I would. T- I'm just saying, right, right there. As far as the movie goes, right now, mm-hmm. Mama was crazy. Uh, he fed him a bunch of baloney thinking he was Thomas Wayne's kid. Yeah, which... So he, he turns lit- around, turns around and kills her. Yeah, pretty much. Suffocates her with a pillow. Pretty much explains that he thought it was a tragedy, but the way he sees it... Well, he sees, he's been lied to. He's been... He felt hurt. You've been lying to me all this time, Mom. You're... Anyway, so... Killed her. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the Robert De Niro character. Mm, which... Now, that scene... Let me talk about it, which... Um, most ref if if you're a big comic book fan like I am, obviously a lot of people will get that reference because that reference was a page out of The Dark Knight Returns, where Joker gets on the reality talk show. Only difference is this one is not how he's cured. It's just pretty much Robert De Niro's character. He wanted to bring him on the show because he introduced him. Uh, he wanted to make fun of him, right? Yeah, because, yeah. but because I guess the joke he, he did a, a like. A comedy, a comedy show where he went to a open mic, yeah, and tried comedy, and he bom- he bombed. He bombed. Nobody, but- w- nobody was laughing, but uh, somehow somebody videotaped it and gave it to uh, gave it to Murray. Murray, that was the that character. was that was the character's name. Yeah, yeah. You know what else? A little as podcasters, and of course, as a podcaster, this is like my favorite podcaster ever. He was there working as Robert De Niro's assistant. Ah. Uh- Oh. That's Mark Marin. Uh, his podcast is WTF. Yeah. And, oh yeah, I remember. I think you told me about that one. Yeah, that that's like that's like I, I'd love to meet Mark Marin, but I don't know how it would be if I, you know, if you ever watch Night Court, which you didn't, but Night Court, uh, the hit, the the main character, Judge Harry, mm-hmm. his main, uh, he was like. Uh, his mentor was, or mentor, his idol was Mel, Mel Torme, yeah. the singer. And he just wanted to meet Mel Torme, but when he finally meets him, Mel Torme doesn't yeah. like him. Ah. So I wonder if I ever met Mark Marin, if it would be one of those, one of those situations where, hey, Mark, and it's like, oh, Pato, get get the F out of here. <laughs> or he tells his bodyguards or people, hey, see that guy? Get him out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like that guy. <laughs> No, yeah. I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah. he, he's a pretty cool, I, I like his sarcasm. That's why I listen to WTF. But anyway, that back, back to the, the Joker, Joker. that the assistant is that, uh, Mark that, that, That's him, yeah. 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 Okay, so we're talking, Murray brings him in to make fun of him. Make fun of him, yeah. And then I guess there's that point where he's in the show talking and he finally snaps pretty much. Yeah, and... It's funny how he shoots them right there in pretty much live TV and tells them well, what does he tell? Them? Pretty much, it's a joke. What do you get when you cross a mentally ill loner with a society that abandons you and treats you like trash? I'll tell you what you get. You get what you freaking deserve. Yeah. Only he doesn't use the word friggin'. Well, we're trying to keep the PG thirteen here. That's yeah. why I stopped myself. At, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, and it's the same thing that uh that other person told Thomas Wayne before they shot him mm-hmm. and it's funny the way Thomas Wayne's acting in this movie I have to admit I have to that, admit that, too, that yeah. I, I was watching that and I was like well maybe he had it coming pretty much I'm like we always see Thomas Wayne as the good guy but maybe this guy was a scumbag politician rich mm-hmm. taking advantage of the poor and I, I don't know is it, it's one of those where okay you know that that's the sitch the situation the, where that's going to create Batman because mm-hmm. father gets killed, the mother. You see the pearls, pearling, the pearls, which it's classical in just about every Batman origin story. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, I gotta admit that when Wayne Thomas Wayne got shot, I wasn't totally upset, ho- heartbroken about it. Because I mean, when you think about it, this whole the way they treat the I mean, yeah, because Joker is a criminal, no doubt, and he's yes. it, it shows that he's a criminal, but. The way they show it, pretty much, 
he's pretty much treated like the hero here. And as you see the people around well, him, they're, the, the, they're, pe- the people were getting tired of being stepped on. And apparently Thomas Wayne belongs to that class of people that's been stepping on, on the, the little people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, it, it's a different take on it. I mean, it, wow. I mean, I, I kind of like the fact of the, the good, goody two shoes, Thomas Wayne, mm-hmm. where, you know, he's, He's trying to be the best he can, but yeah. we have to remember that he's rich, and like most rich people, yeah, I mean they're rich for a reason. I hear they're gonna come. I hear they're coming up with a second one if they do. What? A second Joker, yes, and uh, they're talking about maybe introducing a Batman, and a lot of people are saying to hold on on that, wait till the third one, and let the Joker shine on another movie. Hmm. I don't know, but Joaquin Phoenix he, he did, an did an amazing job. job. I, You know, I don't know. He got a lot of nominations. I don't know if he won any. I heard that movie got 11 Oscars. Oh, the movie did win? The movie did win an Oscar. And last I heard, it, it won it 11. Was, I know it was nominated. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it won any. Last I heard, like I said, let the, me let's ask Goo Goo. Goo Goo. Oh, <laughs> let me see. Goo Goo. Goo Goo. Okay, so uh, as we were saying, that, that that's a very good movie. I was impressed. I was impressed too, cause I'm I'm, I'm not gonna lie, because when I first saw the 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 previews for him being Joker, I only saw like. Well, l- let's be honest. After Heath Ledger, a lot of us realized that anybody trying to play the Joker, that it was not gonna be an easy act to follow. Yeah, I mean. Jared Leto, I'm sorry, but I, I I did not like his Joker at all. They could have done better, but it's just how they went. It's just the way they the way they went with that. I did not like it. Everyone, yeah. I mean, I hope uh, this Morbius movie, uh, which I saw the trailer for, which I, I hope uh, he it's a lot better. Uh, but, but his Jerry Leto Joker was not something that I dug. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could have not been in the entire movie, and it would have been okay. Eleven, okay, yeah, eleven nomination. Yeah, Oscar. Uh, let me see. Joke. Eleven Oscar nominations. So we don't know if he won any of those, he, but he was nominated eleven times. Yeah, that that's a lot for a movie based on a comic book. Mm. So uh, yeah, that that's pretty cool. So uh, that being said, I mean, if you haven't watched it and you don't you, mind that we spoil the heck out of it here, you gotta watch. You it. gotta watch it. It because is it's good. Damn good movie. It is. Like I said, it, I mean. Believe it or not, I mean, and there has been origins in the comic book, but this really gives out a, an origin on how he becomes the Joker, really. Yeah, there there was also talks that it may be, uh, he may not be the actual Joker. But it's pretty much it, what inspires. Something like that, that he may just be a mental pe- patient who who imagined the whole thing in 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 Arkham. Mm. But I don't know, regardless, the, the, this, is a, this was a very good movie. Like I said... Entertainment only, people. Don't get any inspirational, homicidal, uh, comic book, evil <laughs> genius, maniacal, <laughs> evildoer yeah. dreams. I mean, you know, it's uh, that was very good for entertainment. So, yeah, I hope you if you saw it, and I, you know, let us know if you like it. Uh, Rev Alien at Outlook.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can reach us there. You can go to, um, dpodcastshack.com yeah. and click on the actually you can go to rebellion.com and you can just go there straight to the website and there's a way you can get a hold of us tell us what you think mm-hmm. uh if you watch the joker movie tell us what you what thought you thought of, about it and, yeah you know what are your opinions yeah that way uh we can give you a shout out next uh episode mm-hmm. and uh thank you for listening yeah i think this is the, yeah you you the leader uh we 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 got any more show? Actually, yes, we do. Uh, one more thing. One more thing before we go. Um, now, this was uh, yesterday. We, we we recently saw Jumanji. Oh, that's next. Yeah, but we'll talk about that later. I want to talk the about next it. episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just letting you know what we're going to talk about next time. But we recently see Jumanji, and I will say this for a short. It, it was pretty good. I was impressed. Like I'm just going to say that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll talk more about that later. All right. Well, in that case, uh, y'all have a good one. Have a good one.
You're listening to Red Alien. This podcast has been brought to you by the Podcast Shack.